Hey guys, Renny here with Off Grid Trek. Um, I've, I've got a package here. I've had a lot of people asking about us adding this to our website. So I'm just creating a video. We're going to add this to our website here uh, in the next couple days, but just doing a quick video showing what all it includes and why I'm adding this package. So uh, we're out at our trailer right now. We've got a 32 foot trailer here uh, that we use on occasion. Just nice to have uh, to take a break from uh, the city and we'll, we'll, we'll use this on occasion pretty much all throughout the year but normally when I come out the the main unit that I bring with me just because it just seems to be the right size for battery power is the EcoFlow Delta Max now of course you're going to want to be able to charge this from solar or at least we are because where we're located unless we're running we've got a Honda 2200 generator that's not really used that much but if we do use it we could theoretically run it run the uh, the EcoFlow Delta Max but uh, the package that we're going to include is with two of our 200 watt solar blankets so I'm going to go over, go over everything included I'll lay it out so you can see how it looks um, yeah and, and kind of give you an idea of why it is that we use this so first and foremost here's the Delta Max right here only 48 pounds so it is quite lightweight for the battery size that it offers and the battery size that it offers is it's it's 2016 watt hour and just on the other side I'm not going to flip it around but on the on the other side of the uh, of the EcoFlow Delta Max there's two ports there where you can actually add two expansion batteries I probably wouldn't do it for my purposes some people would uh, for for using it here with the trailer because we do charge very quickly from these two 200 watt solar blankets that's what's going to be included in this package so it'll be a total of 400 watts of solar that's these guys right here you can see by the size they're quite small when they're folded up. They're literally 13.6 pounds, fold up to the size of a, of more of a medium to large size laptop uh, and take up very, very little space. And by the way, these are waterproof. You can leave them out in the elements. I'll show you the cables you see. I'll show you how um, robust they are. We've used them in all seasons, all the way down to minus 40 before wind chill. It would have been probably minus 50-ish with, and that's Celsius, not Fahrenheit uh with the wind chill and they, they work beautifully no they, they're not brittle they, they weren't falling apart uh they're designed to, to to take all four seasons if that makes sense but um some of the reasons that i like this ecoflow delta max you look on the front here you got four high-speed usb charging ports you got two usb type c and they're the 100 watts which is nice and then on the back you got six 110s which is really really convenient You've got here DC5521 ports, two of those. I know we use these, uh, I don't have one here to show you, but we use these, um, like if we were going to use it with our South African trailer or even just for emergency preparedness, uh, Energy makes these great 400 lumen chainable lights. Uh, they're on 10 foot uh, strings, so you can chain them all together. So we use those. They're just an awesome, awesome product. There's other things you can do as well. Now here, and then right here is your, uh, your 12 volt plug-in as well too, your cigarette lighter charger. And then the neat thing about this is um, the Delta Max, I believe the Delta Pro has it too. So you can change your, your charging speed from fast to slow. You can see that's the button right there. So it gives you that option. I just leave mine at fast because I like charging everything fast. But you do have that option. And then I'll mention this real quick as well. With all of our solar blankets here, I'll just come around the other side of the stairs. With all of our solar blankets, what they have is our quick charge on the back. So uh, we have two high-speed USB charging ports, one here, one here. We have a USB Type-C, so you could actually power um, a lot of the laptops out there that are powered by USB Type-C. We do have the same as what was on the back of the EcoFlow Delta Max, a DC5521 port. Lots of bonuses to that for what you can charge as well too. And then the cables that are going to come with this. So first, I'll go over the MC4 cable, because I've, I've had quite a few people ask about this. Why do they need an MC4 cable? Um, well, first, uh, this the, the package is going to include an MC4 cable. Um, it's going to include our extension cable right there, which is 16 and a half feet. MC4 cable, 6 feet, so that's basically just over, it's about 22 and a half feet. It's going to include our series cable, and then I'll come back in a moment, and I'll, I'll mention why you need the MC4. So... This is our series cable. What it's designed to do is double up the voltage by connecting one and then two of our solar blankets right here. Now, we've made it simplified for you. They're labeled two or solar input. If you can see just a little bit of sun there. Two are labeled solar input. So solar input, solar input. And then this one's output. Just to make it simple for you, and we do have instructions for this. So solar input, each of those would connect to the... Uh, 
Anderson connector right here that we have and then you would have your solar output now if you were quite close to the trailer and let's say six or less feet then you could get away with just using the MC4 cable so you would connect this guy right here to your solar output and then the MC4 cables to the provided XT60 MC4 cable with the EcoFlow uh, Delta Max but most people aren't going to be that close. That's why we include this extension cable, which is 16 and a half feet. So then you would connect one end here to, uh, if you're using one solar blanket, you just connect it right to the, uh, the Anderson SB connector here, but most people are going to double it up with this. So you would connect it to the output here, and then the other end, which is right there, you would connect to your MC4 cable, and then these MC4 ends, yet again, would connect to your MC4 XT60 connector. And then you see the little orangey yellow connector there. That would connect right there. That's where that guy connects for your solar input. So it's it's pretty simple when you're connecting these. If you're ever second guessing, um, everything's for the most part color coded, and there's only one male, one female end. You can't necessarily mix it up. So we tried to simplify it as best as we could. So now back to the MC4. Why do you require that? Because a lot of people go, well, here you go. We've got the MC4 cable that EcoFlow provides. Why do you need it? Well, there is in essence a male and a female end. But to simplify, let's just call this the female end. You need another male-female end to connect to this. So, in essence, we'll call this the male end. You need this end to connect to this to provide power. This MC4 cable here is not going to connect to our Anderson SB connectors, either with our extension cable or with the Anderson SB connectors that we use. Well, it's the main one that we use with our series cable or even on the back of the solar blanket itself. So it's not going to connect to those. That's why you require the MC4 cable. And by the way, guys, the um, the extension cable here, 16 and a half feet long, or 16.4, it's basically five meters. If you look at the gauge of the cable we use, we use very heavy duty cage, uh, gauge of cable. And you know what? It might be a bit overkill, but I, I'm ex-military. I do overkill. I don't do underkill. It just doesn't make sense to me. This is going to last years for you, unless you seriously beat the heck out of it. It is going to last years for you. These connectors, you can get dirt, water, what have you in it. You can step on them, and they're, they're still going to work. A lot of connectors out there, like you look at the MC4s that most, most companies use, I'm not going to call these flimsy, but these little ends here, these could easily break if you abuse them, whereas there's less of a chance of this breaking. But this is kind of industry standard. We just, we didn't go that route because I, I want these to last. I want them to work as well as what we used in the military. I want them to, to take a beating and, and last years and years. But what I'll do is I will lay this out here in a couple moments. But like I said, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. So this will, we have a package with three of our 200 watt solar blankets. So now we'll add this to our website because again, we've had a ton of you ask for this with two of our 200 watt solar blankets. And we'll, add, we'll also add one with one of our 200 watt solar blankets. I'll lay these out here in a moment and then I'll kind of give you some examples of how long this would run. Like we've, we've pre-wired our furnace um, to have a male 110. So I'll go over that with you. And then just running our fridge, just to give you some examples, how long this would run and what do we use it for here in the trailer. But like I said, let me, uh, I'll connect this, I'll turn this off and then I'll be back in a moment. I'll, I'll lay these out and yeah, we can just walk through that. Okay, I'll be back in a second guys. Just stay tuned. Hey guys, we're here with Off Grid Trek. Um, I've, I've got a package here. I've had a lot of people asking about us adding this to our website. So I'm just creating a video. We're going to add this to our website here uh, in the next couple days, but just doing a quick video showing what all it includes and why I'm adding this package. So uh, we're out at our trailer right now. We've got a 32 foot trailer here uh, that we use on occasion. Just nice to have uh, to take a break from uh, the city and we'll, we'll, we'll use this on occasion pretty much all throughout the year. But normally when I come out, the, the main unit that I bring with me, just cause it just seems to be the right size for battery power is the EcoFlow Delta Max. Now, of course, you're going to want to be able to charge this from solar 
or at least we are because where we're located unless we're running we've got a honda 2200 generator that's not really used that much but if we do use it we could theoretically run it run the uh, the ecoflow delta max but uh the package that we're going to include is with two of our 200 watt solar blankets so i'm going to go over, go over everything included i'll lay it out so you can see how it looks um yeah and and kind of give you an idea of why it is that we use this so first and foremost here's a delta max right here only 48 pounds so it is quite lightweight for the battery size that it offers and the battery size that it offers is it's it's 2016 watt hour and just on the other side i'm not going to flip it around but on the on the other side of the uh of the ecoflow delta max there's two ports there where you can actually add two expansion batteries i probably wouldn't do it for my purposes some people would uh for for using it here with the trailer because we do charge very quickly from these two 200 watt solar blankets that's what's going to be included in this package so there'll be a total of 400 watts of solar that's these guys right here you can see by the size they're quite small when they're folded up. They're literally 13.6 pounds, fold up to the size of a, a more of a medium to large size laptop uh, and take up very, very little space. And by the way, these are waterproof. You can leave them out in the elements. I'll show you the cables you see. I'll show you how um, robust they are. We've used them in all seasons, all the way down to minus 40 before wind chill. It would have been probably minus 50-ish with, and that's Celsius, not Fahrenheit uh with the wind chill and they, they work beautifully no they, they're not brittle they, they weren't falling apart uh they're designed to, to to take all four seasons if that makes sense but um some of the reasons that i like this ecoflow delta max you look on the front here you got four high-speed usb charging ports you got two usb type c and they're the 100 watts which is nice and then on the back you got six 110s which is really really convenient You've got here DC5521 ports, two of those. I know we use these, uh, I don't have one here to show you, but we use these, um, like if we were going to use it with our South African trailer or even just for emergency preparedness, uh, Energy makes these great 400 lumen chainable lights. Uh, they're on 10 foot uh, strings, so you can chain them all together. So we use those. They're just an awesome, awesome product. There's other things you can do as well. Now here, and then right here is your, uh, your 12 volt plug-in as well too, your cigarette lighter charger. And then the neat thing about this is um, the Delta Max, I believe the Delta Pro has it too. So you can change your, your charging speed from fast to slow. You can see that's the button right there. So it gives you that option. I just leave mine at fast because I like charging everything fast. But you do have that option. And then I'll mention this real quick as well. With all of our solar blankets here, I'll just come around the other side of the stairs. With all of our solar blankets, what they have is our quick charge on the back. So uh, we have two high-speed USB charging ports, one here, one here. We have a USB Type-C, so you could actually power um, a lot of the laptops out there that are powered by USB Type-C. We do have the same as what was on the back of the EcoFlow Delta Max, a DC5521 port. Lots of bonuses to that for what you can charge as well too. And then the cables that are going to come with this. So first, I'll go over the MC4 cable, because I've, I've had quite a few people ask about this. Why do they need an MC4 cable? Um, well, first, uh, this the, the package is going to include an MC4 cable. Um, it's going to include our extension cable right there, which is 16 and a half feet. MC4 cable, 6 feet, so that's basically just over, it's about 22 and a half feet. It's going to include our series cable, and then I'll come back in a moment, and I'll, I'll mention why you need the MC4. So... This is our series cable. What it's designed to do is double up the voltage by connecting one and then two of our solar blankets right here. Now, we've made it simplified for you. They're labeled two or solar input. If you can see just a little bit of sun there. Two are labeled solar input. So solar input, solar input. And then this one's output. Just to make it simple for you, and we do have instructions for this. So solar input, each of those would connect to the uh, Anderson connector right here that we have. And then you would have your solar output. Now, if you were quite close to the trailer, let's say six or less feet, then you could get away with just using the MC4 cable. So you would connect this guy right here to your solar output and then the MC4 cables to the provided XT60 MC4 cable with the EcoFlow uh, Delta Max. But most people aren't going to be that close. That's why we include this extension cable, which is 16 and a half feet. So then you would connect one end here to, uh, if you're using one solar blanket, you just connect it right to the, uh, 
the Anderson SB connector here, but most people are going to double it up with this. So you would connect to the output here, and then the other end, which is right there, you would connect to your MC4 cable, and then these MC4 ends, yet again, would connect to your MC4 XT60 connector. And then you see the little orangey yellow connector there. That would connect right there. That's where that guy connects for your solar input. So it's it's pretty simple when you're connecting these. If you're ever second guessing, um, everything's for the most part color coded, and there's only one male, one female end. You can't necessarily mix it up. So we tried to simplify it as best as we could. So now back to the MC4. Why do you require that? Because a lot of people go, well, here you go. We've got the MC4 cable that EcoFlow provides. Why do you need it? Well, there is in essence a male and a female end. But to simplify, let's just call this the female end. You need another male-female end to connect to this. So in essence, we'll call this the male end. You need this end to connect to this to provide power. This MC4 cable here is not going to connect to our Anderson SB connectors, either with our extension cable or with the Anderson SB connectors that we use. Well, that's the main one that we use with our series cable or even on the back of the solar blanket itself. So it's not going to connect to those. That's why you require the MC4 cable. And by the way, guys, the um, the extension cable here, 16 and a half feet long, or 16.4, it's basically five meters. If you look at the gauge of the cable we use, we use very heavy duty cage, uh, gauge of cable. And you know what? It might be a bit overkill, but I, I'm ex-military. I do overkill. I don't do underkill. It just doesn't make sense to me. This is going to last years for you, unless you seriously beat the heck out of it. It is going to last years for you. These connectors, you can get dirt, water, what have you in it. You can step on them, and they're, they're still going to work. A lot of connectors out there, like you look at the MC4s that most, most companies use, I'm not going to call these flimsy, but these little ends here, these could easily break if you abuse them, whereas there's less of a chance of this breaking. But this is kind of industry standard. We just, we didn't go that route because I, I want these to last. I want them to work as well as what we used in the military. I want them to, to take a beating and, and last years and years. But what I'll do is I will lay this out here in a couple moments. But like I said, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. So this will, we have a package with three of our 200 watt solar blankets. So now we'll add this to our website because again, we've had a ton of you ask for this with two of our 200 watt solar blankets. And we'll, add, we'll also add one with one of our 200 watt solar blankets. I'll lay these out here in a moment and then I'll kind of give you some examples of how long this would run. Like we've, we've pre-wired our furnace um, to have a male 110. So I'll go over that with you. And then just running our fridge, just to give you some examples, how long this would run and what do we use it for here in the trailer. But like I said, let me, uh, I'll connect this, I'll turn this off and then I'll be back in a moment. I'll, I'll lay these out and yeah, we can just walk through that. Okay, I'll be back in a second guys, just stay tuned. I've now connected the EcoFlow Delta Max, showing you where we're at right now for solar. It's kind of a little bright. Just under 370 watts going in. We've got both 200 watt solar blankets laying flat on the ground here. I'll show you the, the cables, how it's all connected. So we've got the cable provided by EcoFlow, which is the uh, XT60, where it connects there to the MC4. We've got our MC4. You can see how they connect there. Our MC4, pretty simple to understand. Red is positive, black is negative. Um, and that connects to our Anderson SB. That's our red connectors that we use. And that's our 16 and a half foot extension cable right here. Now, I will mention this real quick. Um, because of the gauge of the cable, as you can see, we use very heavy duty gauge cable. Uh, I, I'm a firm believer in overkill, not underkill, just because to me it makes sense. Um, but this, you can use uh, up to four. I've used four of these extension cables connecting, connected together, and I had no loss of power. So just to keep in mind, if you want a longer distance than what we have here with this package, you can add an additional three extension cables. And it's your choice too. If you want to add the extension cables, you can either go between the EcoFlow Delta Max or whatever power station you're powering and the solar blankets, or you can even go between the solar blankets as well too. However you want to, uh, to, to connect it, just so if you want the, the solar blankets farther apart because of how, where, you're, where you have them situated, you can do that as well too. But here, back to the cables. So our series cable is right here. You can see the, the, uh, the end labeled output is connected 
to what we consider our output or where the power is going. The two ends labeled input, so right here, solar input, solar input. They're connected to our solar blankets, and that's the two 200 watt solar blankets here. And I'll just mention this real quick. I don't think I've ever mentioned it to you guys, but we always try to strive for attention to detail for everything we do. Um, try to go, you know, provide that extra. So one of the things we do is, um, like when you fold, fold away our solar blanket, this, this piece of fabric that's rolled up, it wraps around and it keeps it in place and Velcro's in place. But we also have an extra piece of Velcro, as you can see here, so you can roll it up so it doesn't flap in the wind. Uh, so we have that as well too, so that's there. So here, back to the Delta Max, and I think we're almost 100% charged here anyways. Yeah, we're getting close. We're at 99% and 360-ish watts going in. Uh, how I use it, and, and keep in mind, there's no cookie cutter way on how to provide power for everybody. So that's why we have several different packages based on your specific needs. But the reason I like this specific package is for use with, you know, our trailer here. Uh, for use with it, it's just kind of handy to have. Last night I didn't have much power, had the ice maker going, uh, had my laptop going for a little bit. Um, there are other items that we would normally bring out uh, and, and be powered from it. We would power uh, some smaller Bluetooth devices, like the microphone that I'm using right now to, to, to create this video. And hopefully it's not too windy, the wind's just picking up so you can hear us or hear me. Um, we have a 32 inch LED TV in there that's not used often because to be honest that's nature's TV right there. That's uh, what I'd rather have going as the fire pit. But let's say if we wanted to run that as well too, and e any smaller items, two-way radios, if there's a couple of us or four of us, we all have two-way radios. It's just easier to, to communicate if somebody's in one location in the camp. Um, yeah, so just simple things like that. If you want to bring a drone out, what have you, you can power all of those devices with that. And then realistically, if you wanted to, I wouldn't, but you could run your microwave inside, depending on what type of fridge. You could run your fridge, I guess, off of it, off of the 110, just depends on the style of fridge you have but I, I wouldn't do that with myself but uh, those are some of the items that we do power now for home use for emergency preparedness uh, for hurricanes natural disasters uh, our interesting times that we're in this is a great product as well too and how I use it for that personally we can run our fridge off of it we can um, and our fridge is an example uh, we've got your standard size fridge it's got the dual French doors up top it's got the freezer at the bottom um, how long that's run for us is basically, it would be 14 hours to 18 hours. And I give you a, an example in a realm like that because 14 hours would be, let's say there's not a lot of food in the fridge. So you got a lot of dead air that has to be chilled. So it takes more energy to, to chill dead air. 16 hours, um, or 18 hours up to there, you're going to be closer to, uh, like that's if you're, 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 your fridge is full of food so the food is already chilled so it takes less energy to chill the food so that's that's a lot of time that you can actually run your fridge from the EcoFlow Delta Max and now if you add an expansion battery you're doubling that if you add a second expansion battery you're tripling that just to give you perspective so now our furnace I had an electrician uh, connect a uh, attach a male 110 plug-in so that I can just turn off the breaker if the power goes out and we're in Canada so heat's more important to us than AC where we are and I could just attach to the 110 plugins here and run the furnace. Now I did do a video uh, not that long ago it's on it's on our YouTube page uh, where we where I showed how that was done or actually I didn't show how it was done I just I, I talked about how what had all been done and how long it ran and we actually ran the furnace for 15 hours and just going by memory I believe we started at about minus 10 Celsius when we woke up and I plugged it in and by the end of the day it was about probably two or three degrees above zero Celsius of course um, just to kind of give you perspective on how long it ran so like I, I was really impressed with how long it ran now again that would be doubled if we had an expansion battery and tripled if we had two expansion batteries attached um, but as a standalone unit, I really like the Delta Max because of its weight. It's only 48 pounds, so it's not that difficult to move around. I like the fact that it's got a 2016 watt hour battery pack. I love all of the 110 plugins on the back, six 110s, your DC5521 ports, which are these little round guys right here. And the bonus to those guys, again, emergency preparedness. Um, Energy has this awesome LED light. I don't have one here to show you. They're chainable. Uh, you can have several of them connected together. They're 400 lumen and they connect right to these DC5521 ports. 
you do have a cigarette lighter plug in here and then of course on the front you have your four USB and two USB type C which are 100 watt so it's literally it's all you really need for a, uh, a battery pack or solar generator of this specific size so it's, it's a great unit for what it offers so yeah any any questions guys i guess uh give me a call shoot me an email my name's ready i'm the owner of the company i have my contact information there um i do my best to get back to you within 24 hours but to be blunt we're, we're super busy filling orders right now so if i don't get back to you you know right away just uh just be a little patient like i said our goal is always 24 hours it's just we're we're filling orders in these interesting times everybody's buying right now so it is what it is with that. Uh, regarding stock, we do have stock available ready to ship. I saw it was pretty obvious a supply chain issue coming, so I made sure to have stock here. Um, we will ship all of our solar blankets, cables, uh, Faraday bags, any of that. It comes from our location in Calgary, Alberta. And then any of the solar generators that we do have available for American customers, they're in the California warehouse, they're in the Texas warehouse. So they ship from either there for the Canadian customers, there's less options for us, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. They are available and they're in the warehouse in Vancouver. So they're, they, they ship quickly. If you're wanting something shipped immediately, because we normally ship within three business days, if you want it shipped immediately, then pay with PayPal on our website and we will definitely ship to you very, very quickly, usually within, uh, within one business day. So yeah, that gives you an option. Oh, and I will mention this. Um, being we are a Canadian company, the one thing I have noticed and on occasion, if you are buying from us and you don't normally do large purchases on your credit card, and a lot of, pe a lot of people are doing larger purchases now than what they were doing before, but if you don't normally do large purchases on your credit card, there is a slight chance that your credit card company might deny the purchase. And the reason they do that is we're based in Canada if you're based in the US. So we are, even though we're, we're your closest neighbor, we are your, we're still another country. So they do that because there has been a lot of internet fraud going on, uh, credit card fraud. So they do that to protect you, which is a really, really good thing. And they normally send you a text or an email, and sometimes it goes to your junk email folder. Just basically asking, is this you? Do you authorize a purchase? So if you do see that, just so you're, so you're aware, that's why they do that. Because we're based in Canada. So it just means you have to let them know, yes, this is me. I do, I do authorize this and uh, just do the transaction again. That's it. So yeah, any other questions, let me know. I will get back to you as quick as you can. And yeah, take the time to enjoy Mother Nature. Get out of the city. We're doing our best to do that once a week if we can. There we go. Yeah, four minutes left. Just over 360 watts going in. Won't take that long to fully power up. Okay, have a great day, guys. I'll post this. Uh, right away, I'll add a link to our website um, with the with this package, and I'll also an, I'll, I'll also offer another package with just one 200 watt solar blanket. I'll make sure everything's in there just to make it complete for you guys to make it easy. Okay, have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye then.